AJ Roberts, activate Yamaha, Yamalude, AJ Roberts. And you know what, mate? You know, I've, uh, you've been a rider all your life, and the last couple of years, worked your way into the team management role, and. Uh, Tried to do both there for a while, but I've got to say the last uh, the last few months have really been sort of coming of age in a lot of ways as a team manager for you. Yeah, it's um, it's been one of those things where it's always a learning curve. You're always taking on a, uh, a lot of new new ideas, new things, um, new inputs from riders and conditions and new bikes, and you know, so everything's always evolving. And um, you know, this year was sort of going okay. We were building quite well you know step by step and then at Fink um, we got off to a good start in qualifying and as a team both of us Josh and, and I were in the top 10 and but yeah through the race there at the beginning I, I hurt my neck and so definitely um, felt that and um, it um, it hurt me a bit through the next national it started to play out there I had a small low side and it was just um, building more pressure on my neck and you know, I did get x-rays and stuff like that, but I probably should have got an MRI to see more soft tissue damage than anything. And um, and so I, I couldn't do Hadar and I couldn't um, I couldn't do the four-day um, because I didn't really know what was wrong. And it got to a point where I, I was struggling to even get out of bed. So I just really had to focus on Tom and Josh and make sure they were right. And, um, you know, and, and just push through it. And it seemed to come together and had a lot of help from... Um, guys that we bring in too, you know, and um, especially Tom's dad and, and family, they, they come in and they give me a lot of support as well. So it, it, all, it all works and, and pays off, but, you know, it's not an easy thing for sure. Well, let's just work through it. I mean, um, you know, you really don't want to, you know, you just really can't uh, underestimate the importance of the win. I mean, you know, you guys are really the first guys to win on WR450F when you won an outright uh, round in the... Um, in the off-road series, which is a pretty big thing, you know, Joss on his debut at Fing, run second, you know, running the YZs yeah. out there, and then, you know, after you guys, I think, went 2-3, uh, you, or Greeny and you last year, in uh, the first, or his first ever hatter, you know, he's come out and win the, won the thing outright, so uh, got to be pretty gratifying for you, huh? Yeah, well, it's just, uh, you know, it's one of those things you, I guess, as a racer, you know what you did as yourself to get where you did, and how you trained, and how you went about bike set up, and and things like that, you know, and so you got a guy that comes along like Josh, very raw um, and just willing to learn, but that doesn't mean what you do for yourself works for them, you know, and so you have to um, sort of learn a lot about them as individuals and how they go about things and manipulate things um, to work for them as well, you know, and, and at the end of the day, as long as they're happy, they're focused and they start worrying about themselves more than worrying about what the next guy's got on his feet, you know. So um, that that's what we sort of stick to, and and um, it's it's just slowly happening. It's building, and we still got a long way to go, I think. Um, you know, like y yes, we won Hat out right, and that was that was an awesome achievement. Um, but you know, f for me, you just like I always want to win you know every race we're in and I know Josh does and I know Tom does and that's that's the pinnacle and um, I, I think you know with the riders that we have on the team we can do that. Um, well, I was about to say you know uh, you know Greeny, Greeny sort of came in as your strike rider and a kind of proven guy and, and Tom obviously a young guy up and coming but he's really coming from a sort of 10th outright kind of guy to a 4th and 5th outright. did really well at uh, you know recently at the uh, you know over at the 4 day as well. Yeah I mean the, both these guys are talented they, they are talented and, and you probably see that more when they're training than when they're racing and um, you know with Tom he is young he's, he's very eager trains a lot and um, he, he wants it just as bad as the next guy and like you said he was he was battling on that the edge of the 10 you know and um, just working with him step by step trying not to overload him and just trying to make sure he's got a good bike and I don't have to I don't have to sit here as a rider, rider manager whatever you want to call me and worry that they're not training that they're out partying none of that because they are very focused and um, that, that's what's important. Well, they're actually just driving across the desert most of the time, so they haven't got time to get out partying, mate. But yeah, <laughs> they, They're good, you know. Like, they're not... They, they help. They contribute to the team. You know, they don't just rock up and, and ride, you know. They, they, they help. They're, they're good value, and um, they're not spoilt, and they work hard, and I think they appreciate every opportunity they've got, and I just try and give them the best I can.
Mate, congratulations. It's been really, uh, like I say, a bit of a coming of age. Great, great to see you getting some results and, uh, you know, all the best for the rest of the season. Yeah, thank you.